What is going on, boys and girls of YouTube? We got some more jungle gameplay, but we're not playing an assassin. Bruh. They buff Bogathoth. Mage Kronos kind of slams and out of the jungle, it catches people off guard. So I wanted to test. I have to test all the new stuff, see how it goes, see how it feels. Plus, realistically, re yeah. realistically, Kronos has been kind of bad for a bit. So let's see if we can make him work. If you guys like the video, hit the like button. Make sure you're subscribing to the channel. Drop a comment. Let me know what's going on. Let me know what anything you found with this patch, because. There's not a lot of talk about what's going on, but there is a good amount of changing. Good amount of cha good amount of changes. There's a lot that's happened, and it does affect the game, but nobody's saying anything. It's weird. Like, the ADC build, I didn't really hear about till late last night. Uh, the ADC build is pretty fun, too, so. We'll see what comes out of this. We're trying the Book of Thoth. We're definitely going to go... I think we go Bumba's Hammer. It'll allow us to get a hold of that pen Book earlier. Plus, we want to be full ability based. Like the goal here is to just hit really, really hard. I did play a Freya game with full power rather than lifesteal attack speed, and it it kind of slammed. It was nuts. I'm not going beads here because I'm greedy. I want to start red. Book of Thoth will be our first item. We have to put Polly in the build, but Polly fits better in the build now uh, because there's flat pen on Book of Thoth. Spy. My boy said spicy. The spicy picks. We're gonna do this, boys. We want cooldown as well. Cooldown's gonna be massive. When you're building cooldown, I feel like you kind of want to avoid Chronos Pendant. I hate it. Chronos Pendant just feels like it doesn't do enough. It's a great item for cooldown, but its power and the rest of its stats are not damagey enough, and you can feel it. So I'm gonna try to avoid try to avoid that. Um, fitting Soul Gem in the build will be better, but it's also a lower power. So I don't know. Spear of Deso. We can't really go staff a Mirrodin. Mirrodin's pretty weak for Chronos. Cooldown is just rough when you're in this kind of situation. We're definitely going cooldown on our starter, though, so it's going to make up for it. And then we can go red pot. i to hog back since I forgot to use it here. Got blink. Going to pre-pot because I plan on fighting in case the enemy jungler shows up. I wish we were on. they were pushed up to our side of the map, but we'll see. What we're doing. Oh, he had beads? That's rough. Nice. Oh, oh that's unfortunate. So, if you're playing this god, you don't want to insta-pluck. You want to max range your pluck. So when you stun somebody or someone CC and you auto them, your next auto is a ranged pull. You don't want to use it right away and pull just an inch. You want to back up, you want to get max distance on it and go from there. Because it's not a long CC, so comboing off of it is very difficult. But that's okay, it is what it is. I think- I don't think we would have killed him anyway. I think it would have been- Oh, okay. You just lost a lot of damage there, bud. It's kind of rough because Anubis is here. But it's more rough since my dude missed everything on this Loki. Which sucks. Nice little stun. We're still slow, though, so this is kind of bad. Got one of those. That's fine. He's gonna take my back camps. That was all Hera just walking in and missing everything. Her rotation was good. I'm glad she was there, but if she was there and hit everything, we killed that Loki. His health legit. I did my full combo of abilities and then his health went up from regen because Hera missed. What is Hera doing? Hera? Hello? Super questionable. I don't know what's happening. The Loki also went I. So, uh, he's got way more regen in terms of fighting, but way less regen all the rest of the time. Having no cooldown off the rip sucks, and having to stack a hundred times is gonna suck. I love my one, so I'm clearing here. I'm also gonna try to pressure out the left side. If they want to invade deep into the jungle and go for my speed, that's fine. I'm here, this is gankable. 100%, 100%, 100%. He dashed me. He's gonna heal out. He's gonna stun this guy. I'm getting CC'd. No one else is getting CC'd. We're not gonna. Okay. Guys, come on, man. <laughs> what in the world was that? They did the. They didn't even go on my two teammates, and my two teammates are playing so passive. I don't know if I can do this. Sitting for twenty. Yep, we got it. They didn't come to it either, so they don't get XP. Feels bad for them. Duo lanes gotta be better. I don't know what it is with duo lanes and targeting and not knowing how to target, but it's kind of disgusting. And that goes all the way up into GM games. 
Duo lanes go after the wrong target all the time. You almost never want to go for the ADC type player because they always have some form of movement. They always have a defensive active beads or Aegis. And between those two, they're not going to die. Where the flip side, the support isn't really tanky yet because he's just got one starter, which is a little tanky, but it's never, never a, a too much. It's always easy to deal with. They're usually lower mobility and out of position because they're up farther into the waves. So you gotta, you gotta fix your targeting. Your targeting cannot be me go ADC every time. That's why you don't get your early kills and probably why you're wondering what's going on. That's fine. We're okay with him using his ult. There's a gank on the, oh, what the hell? Take it. I have no idea why he re-engaged on me. That was literally the dumbest thing he could have done. He could have just used my wasted my blink and gotten out. Instead, did some weird greedy stuff. Thought he was gonna one-shot me or something. I don't. I don't know. I'll tell you that wasn't it. I still have my ult. I'm really low mana though. Nice. They got a pluck in mid. That's huge. I'll be Might be able to follow up. Here? Oh yeah. yeah. Oh yeah, yeah, yeah. Take it. Get that XP. I hope they clear that faster. Please clear. Thank you. I only got four of the six X creeps. That feels bad. No idea what he's doing. Trying too hard. Loki mains always trying too hard. Story of their lives. Now we have Thoth, so mana should kind of dwindle away. The mana issue should go away. He's invading red, which is great. Hera, you gotta play the game, my guy. You can't just watch him run around. Come on, live. Oh, that's a good rotation from this dude. Oh, this guy's out of position. He's still out of position. I got stunned. Kill this guy. We hit an auto. No shot, you did not just die. A little counterplay here. ADC's here. Okay, I'm dead. ADC! Oh my gosh, you guys saw my ADC go all the way around, right? I'm glad he got the kill eventually, but come on, it's it, the pathing is right here. Two away, just two away, just two away. Just two away. Just two away. Just leave. Totally just kind of bopping over there. I like to see that. That Loki lived, by the way. He got just enough mana to stealth and got out. Which is crazy. I hope they kill one of them. Please, somebody. So many missed abilities and the most horrendous pathing I've ever seen in my life. I'm telling you, the biggest advice I could tell tell every single person that plays this game is stop thinking so much. Stop try. You're trying so hard without the knowledge to like apply it. It doesn't make any sense. Carry me, team. Oh, this is bad. I need more cooldown. Are they just gonna let me live? Nice. But yeah, the the you need like to think and try to process stuff, you need to have the experience and the knowledge to apply it correctly. And what happens is people will be like, well, I thought this, well, I thought, well, why are you thinking that? Like wh what what puts you in a position to think that? You just need to stop thinking so much. You need to relax and just play the game. Play it as it comes to you play what's in front of you and don't try to create or force anything. And once you, you do that for a while, that's when you can start going for, you know, oh, well, I was trying to do this, make this crazy play. Like that's when you start trying to make crazy plays. You got to do the base and learn the fundamentals first. Have to, have to, have to. All right, what are we going to do here? We don't want to go poly yet. I really want to get cooldown online. So we're going to go ahead and go and spear Deso. Oh, it's a close game. Just giving this low-key kills he should be getting that's a big big kill to have big death on his part what is that vision that was very strange i'm gonna go take this mid wave hera died with beads too which is even worse 
I do not like this. I don't hate it if he has a plug. That is all. He's doing a really good job of peeling, so I can't even complain about anything. That's not my support's fault. That's just the horrors coming in when he needs to. A little late on the rotations, but they're good rotations either way. Gonna make sure we get blue here. We didn't get the last one. Our clear is upping. It's gonna. We have this is a slow start. This build. There's just nothing you can do about it. It's, it's Book of Thoughts coming out the jungle. It's just is horrendous because it's a hundred stacks. I wish this dude would get here. He's not coming. He's too busy on that totem. I guess. I don't know. I don't know, dude. I'm top damage though, so I don't feel too bad. Yo, Rogue just got on Destiny too. <sighs> Destiny gamers. They're gonna fight in mid into another Loki. The Loki spawned and he's running straight back after doing speed. He's gonna go either right or he's gonna go mid and he's gonna get a free kill. I'm calling it. Calling it right now. Grab this. I'm gonna grab a health potion. I'm gonna call missing. I'm gonna try to get to this red. We're slightly behind the Loki, but he has three kills and we just have three assists, so it's not the end of the world. We just need one good fight once we get a third item online. Get that poly online. Okay, there's no shot. You just got caught. Yeah, you got caught. Oh, good ult. Good counter ult. Good counter ult. Good counter ult. That was a really, really good counter ult. Okay. He sets here. I might just back. Oh, he warded me. He knows. I'll be back for you. I'm gonna hide here. Oh, he's going mid. You are trolling. They're all dead. I already see didn't rotate. I already see didn't rotate, dude. I don't know why. Might live here. Oh, we got silence stunned. Art came up late. I'm glad Art's here, but I think it's just too little too late. He's just dying. Oh my gosh. Unfortunate. Late rotations lose you games, boys. Uh, that's really, really sad. I didn't know Horus had an ulted in the mid. I thought he'd re-engaged with it. That was a good use of his ult to catch me. Really, really good use of his ult. So if you're, you're the ADC and he dies anyway. Nice pull. Good play. If you're the ADC in these situations or the soul laner, don't... Oh, my dude's missing. Uh, you know, oh, too bad. No. Clear the wave and then start rotating. It's okay. You, you should never be standing in your lane just looking at the lane. Try to avoid that. If you clear and then you just stand there waiting for the next wave, that is bad. That is not the way to play the game. That will never be the way to play the game. You can half rotate. So while the wave's coming up the lane, you're, you know, you're in this area. So you have visions, you have control. So you can rotate if he does pop up over there. You can also just go to neutrals. You just can't be standing there doing nothing. The team is just clapping over there, I guess. And I'm going to be able to split push really easily with this build, which is kind of troll, but it works. Taking as much farm as I can. I should be able to get this. A little risky going for it right now, but we're committed. I want the gold. We, I don't need the gold. I want the gold. I'm going to go grab the scorpion now, too, if it's up. Loki is frustrating. Once we get one shot him, though, it's going to catch him off guard. It's going to be glorious. Can't wait. Since I am going a mage build, I need to start swapping into the third quadrant here. Can you just AFK under the tower? I missed. That's a really good sidestep on his part. I'm not going to lie to you. Good. I think he has nothing up. Got him. Nice job. I don't know. Whenever people stop like that, I assume they're rage typing. I don't know why. Like, we're probably yelling at this Anubis why he didn't just run away, why I didn't back. Loki more than likely took some of my farming, right? And I didn't get to do my squirt for the boys yet. Which sucks. But we are getting a lot of farm. No last hits, just a lot of farm. Careful left. Enemies incoming. 
I think I tried to get my three off and it got canceled and then I threw it again instead of just ulting instantly. I should have insulted. I have beads now though. So it's all good. And we were sitting on a lot of gold, so that'll work. Unfortunate. I'm still top damage, which is just wild to me. My early game is bad. I'm still stacking pop. I don't even have that flap in yet. God tier rotations out of the soul, you know. He's gonna get Loki open and left. It's so clear as day. This guy's W King at him. This doesn't happen for no reason. Loki has eh, maybe not. Maybe he's just bad. I think Loki's around. He has good vision. Really, really good vision though. I do think Loki's on that side of the map. Or he was. There's no world where you just W key out of the blue. My Atlas is top damage as a support. What a gamer, dude. That's the kind of gaming you need though. Lots of pressure, lots of aggression. He's doing a good job. He's farming like a beast because he's leeching from the mid. He needs to chill on the mid farm and take it from somewhere else and let that Hera get a lead. They just get so much of their damage off of their base numbers uh, in the early game and just like leveling up their abilities. So you need to let them. Oh no. You're good. No shield. Oh, that was a good juke. Should be able to get a kill here. Goodness, nice peel. Oh, okay, you gotta watch over the spanny toes. He just beads my stun. Oh, they're gonna go to red. Loki's back here. Your middle tower I don't know why my art is here. <laughs> I, I mean, I do know now, but I don't know why I wasn't here earlier. Oh, they're low gank. Attack them! Nice job, there you go. Nice job, dude. That's how you play art, baby. Could have rotated a little bit earlier. Uh, you know, here we oh, I don't know about that. Okay. You're full health. You can't be passing it around, dude. What was that? Why did the Hera pass it to me? I think he just tried to get me killed. Good job, boys. His hair is trolling hard. This isn't even up yet. Kind of trolling a little bit. We, we have the Thoth online now. That's glorious. Yeah, okay. Purple's not up yet. There's a wave meeting. We grab the wave. We go back to purple. We're chilling. Once I get a little bit more CDR online, it's going to be nice. The use of the two. There's that. Uh, so I was building in poly here. And then we want more CDR. We need one more CDR item. And in reality, the only other item you could possibly go that isn't trolling is soul gem. Maybe Pythags. But if we go Pythags, our last item needs to be light. We could do that. We could do that. I think we're going to do that. We're going to go Pythags for the cooldown. And then our last item is going to be Typhons. So we have triple lifesteal. We, uh, we'll have full CDR with a red pot. And we have 20% uh, flat pen. That'd be just, I, like, I have no complaints over that build. That build's kind of spicy. If I can hit my abilities or they cannot use their beads on my stuns only, that would be awesome. Polyprox are glorious. Okay. Well, that's unfortunate. He just let him walk right past him. Not sure what that was. Positioning was bad. Oh, let's go mid. That's what that was. The poly one shot. There we go. Is it all me? Yep. Yep. Now we're one tapping, baby. God, we're online. The poly procs are unstoppable. The poly procs. I did so much damage. My three did six, six forty. My poly did three. Six. Oh, this is a slammer build, man. My one killed him, and there's some bug going on where it says zero when it it lasted instead of the number, which is kind of frustrating. I'm probably gonna done big. If I go on this E set, he's gonna beads and kill me. But it just. 
It would be Let's spicy. Go. I played that Loki. We knew exactly what he was going to do as soon as we ulted. He just came. You could see him pathing, just looking to see where our ult ended. What a sweaty boy. Get clapped. Get the clapper, buddy. And then once we get live steal, oh, it's going to be fun. It's going to be fun. Mage Kronos is something else. I'm telling you, this this is one of the most unexpected damage bursting uh, jungle mages. I feel like there is in the game. I don't have beads. My ult's almost up. This red just spawned, unfortunately. Needs ADC. Call it out. Let them know. I take this. I'm taking it. Oh, that was such a good stun for him. Get it out of here. We're just full disengaging. Oh, he went back in. Uh, you have ult? Nice. Oh my gosh, the damage. I can't even tell you how much damage that is. I'm dead. That was good play from the ESET. And no one, and no one else rotated fast enough either. I, I don't know why. That's crazy to me that my mid and my Atlas didn't get over here, but it's, it is what it is. We, we were fighting for way too long, so it's not their fault. More cooldown online now, more survivability, more power, more lifesteal. We're going to go Typhon's last, and it's we're in there. I mean, we're one shot slammering right now. This dude has so much defense, though. That re He's reducing two-thirds of my damage. I hate that about this game, though. It's so frustrating. So, so, so frustrating. Wait, now we want to go left? It's you're, you're like 45 seconds too late, boys. It's just... At this point, you need to farm it out. Make sure you don't get ganked, get caught, and you're getting caught. Bad positioning from Hera. Absolute horrendous positioning. He did mids by himself while his team is rotating over here and left. No ward, no valuable wards. This ward does nothing. You want that ward in this area? I don't know what my team's doing. If you guys are in this, watch this video back. The, you, it's 90 little things you're doing wrong. Nothing big, little things. The, the smallest things are why you die and why you get called out of position. You fix those, you stop doing them, which is really easy to fix. Like, oh, I shouldn't have passed aggressive. So then stop passing aggressive. GG. You do way better. Way, way, way better. This could be a good fight. I have my active up now. I really want... I don't know what the fuck that was. I believe this. It's unfortunate. Oh no. Unfortunate. Good play from them. Nice kill. I, I did a lot to that Logi before I died. Need anti heal. Oh, my mid already has it. Okay, that's good. We're getting best too. We really need it till we fight again, though. We can't really come keep fighting when they're healing for this much. That Anubis healed the full four times. And my mid has... He needs to get a kill. He needs this kill. Oh, no. This mid really... Use your three. There you go. Should have used it way early. He got the kill. He needs XP. That's the first level he's got in the last, I think, four minutes, five minutes, maybe? You guys could check with Avad, but I'm pretty sure that was four or five minutes without a drop of XP. We're going to go into our pen here. It's half a level. I'm not. I'm going to get my starter. We want Typhons really bad because uh, we get way more power from that lifesteal once we do that. That lifesteal becomes more valuable. But I want to get the CDR online so I'm not getting caught the way I am. My two isn't up. It's just about up every time. It's not quite there. So. I'm going to say fire here because it's safer. The one trade-off is if you do go towards fire, they go gold. But at the same time, it also stops them from doing big fire and it just feels better if you don't have the vision or the fight potential i would like my team to be here though Unfortunate. 
We got our item though. So we're chilling. I should have killed him. I think he blocked my auto with his uh, his two, which is a really good play on his part. We did get his actives though, and we got a lot of pressure off of him. And all we had to do was ult, which is going to be back up for our beads anyway. If you are pushing a tower though, use the fourth quadrant. So the fourth quadrant increases your auto attack damage. The second or third quadrant increases your like spell power, your spell damage, basically your ability damage. There you go. I would rather just push mid right here. Fire is so risky. So the safe thing here would have been mid tower to gold. It would have been um, immensely safer to get you get our lead spread more. Uh, but here we are. Oh, he's frenzy. Okay. Need a frenzy then, bud. Yeah, we do. Okay. The frenzy, I like it. The frenzy makes it a whole lot less stressful, to be honest. And I'm using my my last quadrant. I want to defend gold. They shouldn't contest this since we have fire. I think Loki's gonna be around here. Yeah, he's here. Oh my gosh, I just styled on him so hard. I'm so sad. I actually just styled on him on accident. I heard we heard his stealth, but we didn't know where he was. Good play for him. He didn't hit very hard though. Wait, we just heard Loki. Let's go. Okay, uh. we got a lot. That sucks, dude. He got a really good silence there. Some massive silence there. It's unfortunate. Got my ult still. Use my actives. Really should upgrade my beads soon. The Loki was looking for me. What a gamer. I have so much gold I'm sitting on. I just hit hard. I hit really, really hard. I mean, look at look at this damage. It's just one rotation of abilities. Oh, feels nuts. What in the world was that? Okay. 19 cc's later but <laughs> notice how the support and the solo are behind me which is disgusting i'm just gonna go man if my team won't fight with me i'm just gonna go push makes no sense for us not to want to go in there i could also probably just get phoenix here for free because i killed killed so fast team's gonna keep pushing and i'm just gonna do my thing good fight oh my gosh what is that it's dead i can three shot it No! My gosh, I didn't get my ult off. I just trolled so hard. I'm trolling. Got Phoenix though, so it could be worse. That was a troll, boys. Pretend that never happened. Uh, look away. Look away. Full Typhons as well. So we're sitting at 813 magic power right now. No red buff, no fire giant, no five 500 pot. We'll be at full CDR with the 500 pot. We'll be at, uh, what, 30? Is that? Hold on. We'll be at 20% pen. That's kind of low. And then 25 flat pen. But it's okay. Because we're playing around the burst on mages and diving. Just like you would an assassin. We're just playing Kronos. Kronos kind of should be an assassin, man. If his early game was a little better. Could be, could be played exactly like an assassin. Oh, they're missing abilities like I was. Damn. Art's hot top damage now? Oh, he's almost going the right build. If only this was a fail knot and a, a XC. They nerfed silver kind of into the ground. It's way more expensive and they took away some power from it. It's not into the ground. That's an exaggeration, but it's not being built. They're, they're just going XC. And you go fail knot because it has percent pen on it too. Look at that clear, dude. Oh my gosh. I got the 500 pot now. That's what we wanted. We want full CDR because my three is just on a slightly too long cooldown, in my opinion. Back, we're gonna get wards. All for fire. There's that, there's that, and that. Ooh. Boom. Good to go. So, yeah, our two is on a nine second cooldown right now. 
just a little bit better. It gives us like a three second window with no two up, I think. Yeah. One, two, three, and then we can proc it again. Yep. That's what we want. You, you want just a slight amount of downtime. What is he? Oh, kill him. He doesn't even know what he's doing. I'll be back. What in the world is happening? Oh, we're out of here, bud. Good old. Let's go. Rex. I'm the Loki gamer. I'm the Loki. I'm gonna go get this tower. I'm gonna try to at least. He's pocking Polly over and over again. It has a two second cooldown, so like you can see how easily you can just do that. <laughs> oh, that's too funny. I don't know what we're doing over here. So Chrono split push, yeah, could actually come back. What are you even doing? Let's go. <gasps> I missed. Did he just ghost hit me? You have slain an enemy. Oh, Attack the Titan. Attack the Titan. Attack Titan. GG. Yo. Chrono slams. That build is filthy. I wasn't even really paying attention to the healing, but I know I was healing for a lot. That build is filthy. I liked that way more than I thought I would. I'm playing that on stream for sure. I gotta try that a couple times. Early game's a little, it's not bad. It's just a little slow on damage. If you're grouped up running around, it should be fine. I did 33K damage. Their Loki did 26k. That was a good game. Their Loki played great. Their uh, Thanados picked it up. And they weren't missing abilities. I think that was the biggest thing in team fights. They were hitting everything and we were missing a lot, which was unfortunate. Um, but that was a fun game. I hope you guys liked it. If you guys tried that build, let me know. You, can, you guys can tweet me like your results or whatever. Drop them in Discord. I'll be interested to see if you guys are running any of the same builds I'm running. Hopefully you guys liked the video though. If you did, hit the like button. Make sure you subscribe. And I'll see you in the video tomorrow, the next day, the next day, and the next day.